Season. There aren't many teams that have a chance to make the playoffs anyway. This game is pretty irrelevant. But uh, who we do have this week is the South Jersey Slouches coming in. <laughs> Kyle Chamberlain on the bubble here trying uh -oh. to make the playoffs. Not going to happen. Champs Chumps, owner Rick Pittman trying to make the playoffs. Also not going to happen. Okay. Well, that's basically FK's breakdown of how things are going to shake out for the rest of the season. However, regardless of what he thinks, both these teams actually do still have a shot. Um, Champs it's the TFO. Anything can happen. Baby. Yeah, the Chumps need to win at least two to have a chance here. The the Slouches need to win two to probably solidify. I haven't seen the standings past week 10, so I really have no fucking idea. No, nor do we really care. I care a little bit. I'd like to beat on some of these teams. Yeah, it's fun to beat on people when you get an easy first round win, so... Uh, you know, notable notable injuries, JB. Chester Drawers, he's still hurt. That's going to be a big thing for the, uh, the South Jersey Slouches. Or no, he plays for the Chumps. Yeah, he plays for the Chumps. I can't fucking see past two feet. It is a big thing for the Slouches, though, because he's the running back number one. He's yeah, got a broken drawer, so he's doubtful today. <laughs> Poor Chester. We'll see if he can, makes the, the return there. Um, oh, look at who else we got for uh, the Champs Chumps here. Dante Drop It, 806 yards, 12 touchdowns. He's been a big player for them this year. Expect him to make some noise with Chester Drawers being out. Yeah, they also have a, uh, a great linebacker in Nunzio Business. It's, it's, it's Nunzio Business to know how many sacks he has, but in case you're running at six. He does lead the team, and you got Chum, number one. Oh, number one, I get it. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah, team number one. Uh, he leads the team with four no, picks. Chump number one. Uh, he's the 10th ranked interceptor in the TFO, so that's not a bad thing to have on your side of the ball either. Yeah, behind nine of the eight bits brigade. So, uh, anyways, the South Jersey Slashers, they, uh, yeah, they don't really have anybody notable. I guess they have the number... Number hey, 11, Caden Cooper. Yeah, he's, he's not bad. He's got almost 1,200 rush yards on the year and nine touchdowns. He's only got nine touchdowns. That's kind of... I, mean, I mean, they're doing something to go 7-7, seven and seven, so we can't really rag on them too much. The defense, on the other hand, six picks and 22 sacks, so... Wow, 22. Is that mm -hmm. 22 blitzes throughout the season? It's possible. What else we got here? We got uh, Caden Cooper. We already talked about him. I can't Caden fucking read him. Mike Farkas, 46.6% completion rating. Dude, did you hire Eli Manning's, like, evil twin brother? Because it's about, what, it is 1,600 yards, 16 touchdowns, 12 picks. To be fair, though, he does, he does have two rush touchdowns. That he, does look like Eli Manning's stats. He does. He's a serviceable quarterback. Yeah, but Mike Farkas is now Eli Manning. So Eli Manning, he's throwing 46%. Um, he's also got two rushing touchdowns. So I, I'm not sure if this is going to be a great game or a blowout. It really could go either I way. I feel like it's going to be a good one, JB. Either way, we're going to sit back and get drunk. Do Sorry, the coke wore off. Um, what are we talking about? Uh, getting down to the field. Oh, okay. Well, let's go. All right, and let's go Week 15 Sunday Night TFO. JB, I actually kind of like both of these teams. They got some, they got some funny names for for players. Yes, yeah, it's true. I mean, there's a guy I, named Bob Wire on a team. I mean, I don't really know anything about either of these two teams aside from that I think they're both people in real life. Yeah, and, and what are we gonna say about that? I don't know. You can only call a dude an asshole so many oh, times. Well, there's a kickoff for that guy. Oh, Kyle Kanissi. Yeah. He's still butter for week eight. Look how bad he's running. You you could tell. Champs Chump set up in the uh, the double back formation here with a pitch. No, nope, a handoff there it is to Bob, the Bob Wire. See, I told you there's a guy named Bob Wire. Bob Wire, the master of the shitty play, picks up seven. Yeah, wow, that's like the best that the shitty play's done all year. Look at look at that. Running it the again. Bob Wire. What did what did the Champs Chumps do to get Bob Wire to be able to run that play better than everybody in the league? You're talking about people like Animal Animal, the Bone Air. Super Shredder, Ryu Hayabusa, Scott Steiner, Dumonde, Scott Steiner, none of them can run the shitty play that well. So, Kyle Kanissi here, he might get a touchdown. Look at that. Oh, is he gonna make it? Oh, not quite Hit tackled the one. Yeah. We're really gonna start doing this again. Mm -mm. It's been seven weeks since the, the controversial Sunday Night Football with Kyle Kanissi running in for a touchdown. Ball's in his hand. Kyle Kanissi making it 7 0. The champs chumps out to, uh, <laughs> Not really commanding lead, but a decent lead here early in the first quarter. Absolutely, JB. I'm still just impressed by the fact that Bob Wire can run the shitty play. 
You know what he had? He must have had a big fucking bowl of Defender Rose. He must have ate his Defender Rose. Kick him further, or farther. Uh, Go into Moore. Is it Mary Tyler Moore? Uh, it's Mary Tyler Moore now. Mary Tyler Moore out across the 20. Breaks a tackle, brought down at the 22, JB. It's, it's sad that, like, a... 90 year old bitch can break a tackle on the TFO. She, she gives zero fucks. The pitch to Cooper. I thought Cooper was hurt. No. Oh, George is hurt. Chester George. Alright, let's go, Caden Cooper. Freddie Fark is front Eli pharmacist. Manning drops back. Oh, I forgot about Eli Manning. He's gonna keep it himself. Oh, he throws it at the last second. The receiver goes up. Jumping grab by Brent Colon Tone. It's a great 30 yard pickup there, JB. It's gonna give him the first down. Let's see what they do here at the 45. Eli Manning with a seven step drop. Got one open over the middle. Oh, and it's blocked by a hell of a, a play by the champs jumps there. A nice jumping swat down. And all NFL fans are used to seeing that from Eli. Oh, God. Eli with the pitch to Cooper. Cooper's got all day to run here. Maybe there's nobody there. He's down to the 40. The 30, they're going to grab him with the 28-yard uh, line there. It's a good run down by the champs jumps, saving what could possibly in a seven-point play. Let's see what they do here. And off to Cooper again, their go-to guy. I mean, why would you honestly give you it to Eli Manning? And a hell of a block. You can into the end zone for a touchdown. Wide receiver came up from the bottom to lay a block on the linebacker. That's not something you see a lot in the TFO. That's usually, called teamwork. Usually they just stand around and, like... And watch. Yeah. Wow. Eyeball cheerleaders. Wow. So I can't really be mad at him right. for that. I mean, yeah. The kick is up. And it is good. That's going to knock the game up at seven here, baby. Oh, well... Two, two uh, possessions, or one possession by each team, two touchdowns. This could be a firework-filled game here. Kenisi from the 20. Back with the 25. Oh. oh! And he gets hurt. I'm just going to shut my mouth as to not say anything else. Pause for station identification. And we're back here as Chris McClouse <laughs> Chris comes... Chris McClouse is coming in. Comes in for the champs chumps here. Uh, the uh, commentator of Saturday Night Football, the guy trying to take our jobs, owner of the Westeros Guardians, can't even fucking he, pick it up, and then he gets hit NFL Blitz style. It's he, a he hell of a play. The Galactic Defenders, dude. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, McClouse on the pitch. He's out to the 28, and that's where he gets tackled. Nice pickup of, uh, I don't know, more than one. At least we have someone to talk about now. We actually yeah. know what's going on. Third and six. McClouse gets the ball again. And crushed. Fourth Except and five. Yard. Did McClouse have that three times in a row? I'm pretty sure he did. Oh, they, they have an awful lot of... Uh... There's a lot of beer. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh. Uh, long. I'm assuming that's Long John Silvers. I'm assuming it's Long Dong. Long Dong kicking off to Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> He gets stuffed at the 13 yard line. Hell of a defensive stop yeah, by the first quarter, jump. JB. This is, this is going to be a game, I think. They're knotted up at 7 to start the second quarter. That's all it is is the start of the second. That's it. Eli Manning with the pitch to Caden Cooper. Champs Chumps actually find something to do this time. Stopping Cooper in his tracks for a pickup of 1. The Chumps defense is going to step up here. Look pitch at that again. blitz. Wow. Cooper not quite fast enough to get around the blitz. Now, that's the only play in the TFO where if you have a fast uh, running back, you can get around that blitz, usually for a big game. Yeah. Hayden Cooper again goes up to the top, gets held up, that and throws a tackle. tackle. That was what he needed to do to pick up that first down, That's keeping great. the South Jersey slouches alive. Great run by Cooper there, JB, to get him up to the 25, get him a fresh set of downs. Eli Manning in the shotgun, something Giant fans don't like to see. Ever. He's got a couple options. He's going to... That guy. Brett Collington again. Wow. JB, he had a receiver wide open in the middle of the field, never even looked at him. Uh, Eli Manning decision making. Oh, yeah. Carries no, no. over into the TFO. Eli Manning drops back again, receiver's wide open. Well, he's lucky this shit isn't getting picked wow. off. He must be throwing against the Jacksonville Jaguars defense. I hope Chamberlain's not a Giants fan in real life, because if so, he gets disappointed in the regular NFL season and in the TFO season. Kind of like the time my brother beat his evolution deck with Xbox at Origins. Ouch. Yeah. Hashtag I know you remember that, Kyle. So, uh, let's see what they do with the punt here. Are they punting? I wasn't saying they're punting. Oh, they got a black punter! Wow. Good job, black punter. Picking up to, uh... Congratulations to the South Jersey <laughs> Slashers for drafting a black punter. <laughs> it was an affirmative action hire. Kicking off to Eli Roth, the director of Hostel. What a great movie that is. It was a great movie. Nothing like torture and football combined right. in one. Chuck, Chuck and Clark. Clark. Scott Dante drop it wide open. He's, He's going, going to for it. It's up. That was a hell of a toss. Wow, Can great he shake grab it? I drop it. Just nope. don't drop it. That's a nice 60-yard ball from JB to put the champs chumps in scoring position. Two minutes and three seconds left in the half. Chuck him far from the shoddy. Going to Dante, Dante again. again. Uh, nope. That, that's the problem with throwing to the end zone in the TFO. It's got to be right on the money or it's, mm -hmm. it's going over. But to be fair, that could have got picked off anyway. That's Chuck him. True. He's got Chuck him or 
uh, Dante again. He's got Dante. I think he waited too long this time. He should have checked it down to the barbed wire there. He's standing right at the six wide open. Bob wire will just run straight and get as many yards as, as many he, as he can. Wants. Yeah. The Chuck blitz by the slouches. Gets it out. Ooh. Wow, he's lucky that didn't get picked off. JB, fourth and ten. They're going to have to kick the field goal here. How good is a champ chumps kicker? I have no I fucking know. idea. Let's Probably find better out. than both of ours. Ebola tries oh, to get in there. Oh, he's pretty good. <laughs> Was that right down the middle? Mm -hmm. Oh! What were you saying? I don't know. Fair enough. First down and ten, Eli Manning in the shotgun He's here. still better than both our kickers. <laughs> I can't argue that one bit. Yeah. Eli Manning going, going to Brent again. Bill Clinton. Oh, picked, picked off, off that time by the wrong guy. Who fumbles? Who fumbles it? But it's not, it's not going to count. That's a good save there from the champs, Chumps. If you're going to fumble, at least throw it out of the, the playing now, field. Now, according to TFO record keeping, I'm pretty sure that that pick won't go against uh, Eli Manning since it was a fumble. Uh, who knows? We'll let the Raj figure that out. Yeah. McCluse from the backfield. Not like anybody has Eli Manning in fantasy anyway. That's true. Look at McCluse go, JB. You pick up two more yards, third and two, McClu 17 seconds left. McClough's, unlike Kyle Canese, did not eat his defender rows, which is strange, yeah. seeing as he paid for the endorsement in week 11. And still is paying for it. Yeah. Thanks, McClough's. Picks up the first down. You better go down so they can kick the field goal. Good, I mean, good job, McClough's. That's going to take us into halftime, JB. This game is exactly what we expected. The South Jersey Slashers and the Champs Chumps knotted up at seven. You know, with the way the game started out, it, it looked like we were going to see an offensive battle I here. I thought we were going to see a real slobber knocker. <laughs> All right, JR. Yeah, well, we're going to see if kicking farther can uh, put Mary Tyler Moore in the end zone. I want to see if they put her in the hospital. Damn, Take that bitch off Nick at night. Go on, get injured. God damn it. Takes it out to the 31. Let's see what Eli can do here. Eli Manning, he's not going to Caden Cooper anymore. That, that's his go-to guy. Yeah, he's going, going to Brent again, which gets picked, picked off. off. again. And who fumbles again and ah. is picked up by Jeff Paglia. Who the hell is Jeff Paglia? I don't know, but that dude just can't grab him on the champ jump. Oh, man. He had like four chances now. Picked up an extra 30 yards on that, JB. I don't know what happened. That was just a whole cluster fucking shit. You know what happened? Fucking the slotches didn't learn from history and it repeated itself. They just got the better bounce on the fumble. That's Quit all. letting Eli Manning throw the ball. There it is. Hey, listen to you. Cooper. But it's a tackle. Look, oh, look he's what, going in for the touchdown, JB. Look what happens when you don't give the ball to Eli Manning. You score touchdowns. That's right. Chamberlain, you should let me coach your team. It, that could probably be a range. You just pay me a beer. Yeah. Vodka. I want to coach someone's team. I want to coach the Gators next year. Well, I'm hoping they'll be the porn stars or the sandwiches. They but... should be the porn star sandwiches. Oh, my God. Yeah. Talk about a DVDA shot. Exactly. Eli Roth is planning on making Hostel 4. What a great oh. series of movies. People just get brutally killed. Well, let's be fair. They were kind of shitty after like yeah, one. I like the first one. Yeah. Talk Going to McClues! McClues! Run, McClues, run! Yeah, McClues! <laughs> McClues, you need to eat more Defender as a gain of three. Second and seven. McClues runs for five seconds and picks up two yards. Yeah, chuck him far from the shotgun. He Scott, drops back 15 yards. You're gonna go yards. to Dante? I was going to Chris McClues! Oh, McClue's, So close, on. so close, McClue's. If he would've ate his defender, as he would've went Super Saiyan like Goku and probably caught that. That's right, he would've went over 5,000 or whatever. 9,000. DBZ people say. He, now, he had somebody straight over the middle and just decided to throw it to gotta catch them all. Poor decision making by Chuck on Far. He's missing Chester Drawer, so... This is fair. I mean, Chester George is their best. That's a hell of a kick by Long Dong. A <laughs> Long Dong. Mary Tyler Moore is going to try and beat the ball back there to receive it. Oh, let's be fair with it. Barely gets it. Great. With kick, JB, to the 10. Moore brings it out to the 18. With fucking Rhoda blocking forward. She's going to get stopped up like that. Where's Kelsey Grammer at? Uh, Eli Manning. You going to throw it again? He's he going to Ryan Anderson. Who catches it? Good job, Ryan Anderson. Way to go, Ryan. Nice grab. Way, way to not fumble. Is it? Is it a uh, a coincidence that Ryan Anderson and Kyle Nessie are both playing in the same game? Well, they're not playing in the same game anymore. And Cooper it, takes it, it the run to the forever. 20, breaks the tackle to the 10 to the 5, and he's in there without even being touched, JB. Eli Manning, again, not not taking the ball in his own hands, and the South Jersey Slasher score more points, 20-7. to 7. Tom Coughlin, pay attention for when the NFL season starts. Actually, don't, because the Eagles are going to kill you. Either. Very true. Charles? Is that that guy's name? The kicker puts the ball up to the 21-7, JB. This game just kind of got interesting. It uh, sure did. We were looking at a, a tight-knit back-and-forth, nobody-can-do-shit game. 
game, and uh, the South Jersey Slash is going up two scores. Eli Roth, uh, looking to make some moves here. JB gets out to the 29. Three seconds left in the quarter. Are they going to go to Bob Wire for the shitty play? Come ah. on, Bob Wire. Nope, Chris McClue. Chris McClue. This actually is kind of sad because Bob Wire should be their go-to guy, but the way he has it set up now with two guys getting injured, he doesn't have a choice but to go to McClue. Yeah, that's, that's probably going to ruin the game for the champs. They're not going to be able to get any yards like that. 21-7 to start the fourth quarter, JB. Third and eight. Chuck him far in the shock, and he needs a Dante drop it bomb. He gets out to McClue's. Blitz and gets it out. McClue's just can't come up with those. Oh. Yeah. Greasy fingers. I don't know, defender rows are all wheat, so he yeah. hasn't been eating them, you can tell. Dante drop it's wide open, that's what they needed, he's going for it. That was like a good pass. It's in there, JB. Dante's he got the gonna... speed to break the defenders, sure oh does. yeah, he's getting in there untouched. Is that their highest paid player? I'm pretty sure it is, JB, but that was their biggest yard play of 80 yards for the touchdown. That's exactly what they needed. They can get an onside kick here and make this game real interesting. Business is about to pick up. So do you honestly want to see a uh, an overtime game between these no. two teams? I didn't think Not so. 21-14 here. They're gonna go for the onside. No, Kicking they're gonna farther. They're gonna rely on their defense to stop Mary Tyler Moore here. Maybe I gotta say four minutes left in the game. That's a good call on the James part. You're probably right, but I know. Out to the 27. Maybe we one. should call you the arrogant bastard. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's better than what a other people probably call it. Eli Manning in the shotgun gets wrecked by Hugh Badax. By Huge Boner. Okay. It's for our like... Second and 17. Uh, Eli, Eli Manning. Manning. He's got a lot of... Well, not a lot of... He's got one option, but he's going to... The guy who's got picked off three times. Yeah. Poor decision making by Eli Manning. Third again, and, is anybody shocked? Third and 17. The champs chumps need this three stop. Three left in the game. See if they can stop him here, JB. Gonna be all down to this throw. He's going to fucking Brent again. And it's and picked off. Wow. Again. Three interceptions. The champs chumps are living off the poor decision making of Eli Manning. Can anybody blame them for that? Not though? at all. If Eli's gonna throw them interceptions. Chris McClue's. McClue's. He's got all day to run. Look at him go, go JB. McClue's, go, McClue's, go. He's gonna pick up five there. He got six. six. That was a hell of a spot. Somebody get him an oxygen mask. The champs chumps are fucking paying the refs here for that spot. Chuck him far. He appeared. Gets the ball wire! wire with, the shitty play. with the first down! Bob wire. wire! Picking up those yards on the shitty play. 156 left to go in the game here. The chumps need a touchdown. Chuck him far in the shotgun. He's looking for Dante Drop, but he's, he's looking for gotta catch him all. Gotta he's catch got him it. All. I think he used a master ball on that one to he, reel he that in. He picked up 11 there, JB. They're going to call their last timeout, minute and 39 left in this game. This is actually turning into a very exciting game. I'm kind of shocked. Chuck him far. It is. They're from the 34. He's going to take he's it himself. It. Oh, he's going to get caught up on a pixel. A John Everidge. Another guy we don't know who doesn't matter. Minute 23 left in the game. Third and third. Second and 14. Hey, you're drunk. You can't hey. read it. Chuck him far. Everybody's covered. Oh, he just saw his I like the play, JB. He's got two... He, he's two two the shots clock. left. Yeah. Third and 14. They're not handing off to Chris McClue's. Not, check it down to McClue's! Going to Bob Wire. Aw, uh, Bob Can't Wire. This is essentially their last play here, the champs chumps. They need the 14 yards on this one. They Ball need Dante drop it. Dante. They got someone over the middle. Gotta get it to him. Going to Stevens, because he make it! Stevens! He got it! He gets the first down, he brings it down to the 20, JB. That's a great 17-yard pickup to keep this game going. 36 seconds left. The champs chumps have a new lease on life here. Dante, Trump drop it! Drops back. He's gonna run it himself, and no, he's... Aww. It's picked off by some guy we don't know! And that's gonna be the game right there, JB. 12 seconds left in this game. Now, there's still a shot they'll throw it to Brent Collins. They gotta give it to Cooper. No, they, yeah. And there it is. He's just gonna run the clock out, JB. He might run a fucking touchdown. Or he's gonna, oh, oh, good job by the Champs Chumps defense to get him. That's gonna end this game with the South Jersey Slashers winning over the Champs Chumps 21 to 14. So who was 7 and 7? The Slashers coming into this game? The Slashers were 7 and 7 coming into this game. That's gonna move them up to 8 and 7. Get them even closer to that playoff card. Uh, now, as, as we know what happened last year, a lot of teams who got 8 and 8 got in, and a lot of teams who didn't ha or had 8 and 8 did not get in, so it's basically going to really boil down to, if pending Kyle loses the next game, it'll be essentially the point differential of the tiebreakers, however the fucking TFO decides to view it. But uh, what i really like to discuss here is the quarterbacks. Both Eli Manning and Chuck Far here with... Dismal performances. Yeah, JB, they were just both. Both just didn't have a good game. See, look, look, Farkas had, or Eli Manning had, he only got credited for one pick when essentially he threw three. three. 
So that's kind of interesting here, and uh, that fumble ended up being the, the deterrent for the Slodges to take this game yeah, over. Yeah, it sure did, JB. Look at uh, Caden Cooper had a great game, though. 155 mm. yards and a pair of touchdowns. Uh, not too bad. I'd be happy if you're the Slouches with that. So uh, Racked up about 30 fantasy points. Yeah, Dante shabby. Droppet picked up 118 reception yards, and I think he also had a touchdown. So. Dante Droppet, Jeff, definitely the champs, chumps, main go-to guy here. But Yeah, they got to hope they get Chester Drawers back. Well, the fucking, uh, the footage ran out, so I guess that means we're done for this week. Yeah, whatever. Let's go to the bar. Fuck it, we're going. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Good fight. Good night.